though you could enter some comment with this option on Power BI service, but this doesn't get added to your dataset. And if you'd like to add a comment column in the Power BI table visual, where you could enter values from the report page, then it is not directly possible. In this video, we are going to create a solution to achieve this requirement. Let's create it from scratch. All right, I have this customer's tables and I have created a table visual, which is showing customer wise total revenue. To add a comment column in this table, I need to do some configuration. In order to do that, first of all, I will create a blank table inside my SQL server. Here, I will have columns with names, customer ID, customer name, and comments, and then save this table with an appropriate name. Now from Power BI Desktop, I will connect to the table, which we have just created inside SQL Server. The important thing to note here is, you need to select the data connection mode as direct query. Click OK. And here is the blank table we need to use for our solution. Load this table. You can rename this table with an appropriate name. From the data model view, we need to create a connection between customer's table and this comments table using customer ID column. At this moment, our comments table is blank. This will create one-to-one -one relationship. Now our configuration table is created. And I can add the comments column from my comments table. The next step will be to add a power app visual from the visuals list. And add these three columns in the data field. Here we get two options. Create app or choose already created app. Creating this form in power app is very easy. From the power app website, click on create button and then select this template with SQL database connection. This will automatically create the required form. Here you can create the connection. If you have on-prem data source, then you will also need a data gateway, same as we use for Power BI. Since I have already created this connection, I will use this existing one. And then I can select my comments table. Within a few seconds, your three-page Power App form will be created automatically. You can rename the titles or headers in this app. Keep an appropriate name for your app and publish this version. In Power BI Desktop, we left it at this state, and since we have already created the app, we can now select this app and click on Add button. Finally, we are ready with our solution. Let's verify if it is working or not. Click on this plus icon and enter the customer ID and the comment for it, and click on this Submit icon. Since we are in Power BI Desktop, we cannot refresh the page. But for this testing, I can enable the automatic page refresh option for every two seconds. With that, let's try one more time for another customer ID. This time the comment will be added immediately to the Power BI table visual. As that you can see, the comment has been added to the visual. I am using this page refresh for every two seconds just for this demonstration. In Power BI service, it will automatically show once you refresh the browser or change the page because we are using a direct query connection. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for many such interesting videos on Power BI. Post your feedbacks and suggestions in comment box.